Hello, learners. It's a wonderful Thursday, and we have numeracy. Numeracy. So, today we are going to be talking about graph work, but we are still on weather conditions. So, let's remind ourselves of the types of weather conditions we have. So, we have rainy weather, sunny weather, cloudy weather. What is the last weather condition? We have mentioned three and it is left with one. If you remember the last weather condition, tell someone beside you. Okay, so the last one is windy weather. If you had it right, just clap for yourself. Okay, so we have rainy weather, sunny weather, cloudy weather, and then windy weather. Okay, so we are going to be treating something so interesting. So it is about a neighbor school, a sister school or a neighbor school. In that school, in KG2 class, students were asked to choose the weather condition they like best. And they formed groups. Those who liked rainy weather condition group themselves. Those who liked sunny weather condition group themselves. Those who liked windy weather conditions also group themselves. And those who like the cloudy weather condition also grouped themselves. So let's take a good look at this. These are the group of people. So we have rainy weather condition. We have sunny weather, windy weather, and then cloudy weather. Okay, so this is a graph work. Use the graph to answer the questions. So let's count the number of people in each group. So this is rainy weather. This is the group of people. Okay, so we have one. Two, three, four, five. So let's try and locate and see if it is five. Good. It is to the number five. It is to the number five. When you count from here, one, two, three, four, five. And you direct it to rainy weather. We have how many people? So five people like rainy weather. Good. Let's come to sunny weather. We are counting together. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. So let's drag it and see if it is seven. Wow. So seven people liked, seven people liked sunny weather. Seven people liked sunny weather. Now, 
Can you count windy weather for me? I know your answer will be yes. So please count windy weather. Tell someone beside you how many people liked windy weather. Okay, so let's do it together. Windy weather. One. Two. Let's see if it is truly two. Yes. So we have only two people in windy weather group. We have only two people in windy weather group. Okay. Good. Now our last group of people. So we have cloudy weather cloudy weather so we are counting together one two three four let's see if it is truly four. Oh yes there are only four people four people in the cloudy weather group only four pupils like cloudy weather good so there is a question here we have four good questions okay question one how many pupils liked windy weather how many pupils liked windy weather? So you go and count the number of people who liked windy weather. Question two. How many pupils liked sunny weather? How many pupils liked sunny weather? So you count the number of people who like sunny weather. And then you write the answer. Question three. How many pupils liked cloudy weather? So you count the number of pupils who liked cloudy weather. And you write the answer there. And then question four. Which weather condition has the highest number of pupils so you go through you count all the weather conditions there okay you count the number of each group the number each group has okay then you see the one that has plenty people okay many people in the group then you write that weather condition as your answer okay so this i believe you all understand we end here stay home and stay safe bye bye